Hey everybody, welcome to Trading Capital's exclusive analysis. And today's going to be discussing natural gas and a little bit of a sneak peek on oil. So discussing that gas, it's been an overall huge amount of sell side pressure in this commodity. Ever since we got that golden cross, we've been warning you not to go long that gas. And if you certainly did, you've been being punished at every turn for the last five days straight. And the question is, are we going to get a bounce? Well, intraday analysis does show that we are starting to get extremely oversold. Uh, the range from priority high and priority low is getting pretty extreme. So even if you were to do a 50% bounce here, there is somewhat of a tradable degree playing out here. But what's very interesting is if you take this high pivot here, drop it down to this low pivot, and we actually um, copy and paste that entire move and draw that extension move down from this pivot, you can ultimately see that if you do a measured move down like we did during this sell-off, you could still hit a downside around 234. And that's kind of ultimately when been where my overall downside target is to buy off of this long-term pattern that goes back to this 2020 low pivot all through this consolidation chop and then that could be starting the shape of an inverse head and shoulders which would be a very powerful bullish pattern in the making but ultimately it does look like we're getting short-term oversold especially on the way this RSI is setting up a huge huge extremely oversold condition so there is going to be a nice little dead cap bounce trade that is approaching in the near term but I do think that it still goes quite a little bit lower before it gets that swing tradable area in my opinion and the reason this makes shark moves higher and lower in each direction is because of these levered assets you know KOLD I just had some members actually take some profits off of this in their long-term accounts we issued the signal to buy at around 34 15 and ultimately they've netted a huge profit i sold it way way early but nevertheless a lot of them still stuck with the trade and bounce and profited tremendously so ultimately i don't think nat gas is ready on a couple fronts because the resource stocks themselves although they are coming up into some nice viable levels they do look like they have a little bit more of a downward push but they are getting somewhat close. Maybe uh, one more little flush and some of these names could be looking at an interesting area. AR is one that I still think needs to retest this about 3060 area, this little high pivot zone breakout area where you need to fill in this volume gap at the very least. And this is certainly shaping up for potentially another down leg. So that's why I think NACAS could get a short term bounce, but ultimately heads a touch lower. Now, oil is the real, real interesting thing because this is on only going to impact the overall um, price action and interest rates, small caps, big caps, large caps, because if oil continues to press higher here, that's going to be a problem. Think about do inflation, does, does the consumers want more inflation through at the gas pump <coughs> at all of the consumer costs, goods and services, everything we know becomes more and more expensive if oil is starting to break out. And what's really, really considering and crazy if we actually just erase everything, look at what is potentially occurring. Oil is breaking out and testing this long-term trend line. 